Hey, before you judge me. This is my gangster hoodie, man. This hoodie says, this is my killing hoodie with, with a rainbow. It's a military company, man, grunt style. This is my killing hoodie. So when you see me in my rainbow hoodie, don't be calling me and tell me I'm a queer or anything. so much the amount of precipitation but just visibility god is good fine category near destination truck stop exit cleared up a little bit so i'm on 94 westbound out of michigan headed towards chicago so i can hit 57 south to go to texas looks like somebody got killed in a car accident a couple miles ahead so you're thinking about getting a truck and man, stuff like this happens, you'll spend, I've probably gone, gone about a mile in the last hour and a half. So it definitely puts a kink in the plans. Luckily I'm on a load where I have to basically an extra half day to get there over the weekend. I'm gonna be here a while. And it's another reason why you should definitely get one of these right here. Definitely, if you're a new driver, get a CB, man. Make sure you get a CB. I actually had mine off. I could have heard about this. Well, before it happened, I could have get, gotten off on 65 North towards Indy and gone around this, but I was I was in a phone conversation trying to figure out some stuff. I got an apartment back in New York, basically about five miles from my mom in Pennsylvania, but she lives right on the New York border. I got a little place about six miles away. So technically I'll be a New Yorker. Got off the phone and saw the traffic coming up and it's too late for me to get off and avoid all this. It's probably gonna be here a while. It says someone between a semi and a, and a four-wheeler, someone got killed. Stuff like this happens out here, man. And you just sit. I gotta pee. I really gotta pee, that's not good, but figure it out. Hey man, you messing up the bed already? Bring all your toys out, huh? One by one. CB squared away, trucking with T-Bone, sold me this, it's a Striker SR447. Had some issues with it, setting it up, and then uh, I was getting a little angry at it, just a little angry. T-Bone will tell you, I don't get angry very often. <laughs> got it all hooked up and got my SWR pretty low. When you, when you, when you key the mic, the SWR will come up right here where that 19 is. I got down to 1.4. Might be able to, oh, it's down to 1.3, that's pretty good. And it's purple, I like this. It's got a bunch of different colors on it, so the, having the purple, that was awesome. Uh, and the range on this thing is ridiculous, man. I need my coffee. Oh, I can't do nothing without my coffee. What are you doing? I gotta get my plants back, man. I left my plants at my mom's house. I miss my plants. Get the Keurig tucked away. I gotta get my plants back, man. TV strapped up. Dang, Bailey drank all of it. Still got water. Um, you're good to go. You ready to roll? You ready to roll? Yeah. He's so cute. He's so cute. All right. That first sip of coffee. parking lot is pure ice though be careful coming out of here 2 30 in the well 1 30 in the morning here 2 30 eastern time let's get our flags up gotta represent america right, we're good to roll all right here for the night my delivery i'm already backed up to the dock 
So when they come in the morning, I'm already connected. They can just go start taking my stuff out. And then the receiving's over there. About five o'clock, I'll wake up, go over there, give them my paperwork, and they'll unload me. And I think I'm gonna head for a reset afterwards. Actually, I might even, I got here about 1 p.m. Um, they'll probably finish around 7 a.m. So probably do the next 12 hours or so. I might even just park here and do the rest of my reset. That's kind of the advantage of being like having everything on your truck. You don't really, you know, I got food, water, I can cook. Only thing I can't do is, is go poop. But they'll be they, they'll be open 24 hours, so if I need to go poop, I can just go inside and use the bathroom. All right, let me go. Let me go get my weight bench going. Go work out. Time to go work out. I don't know if I'm gonna do a reset tomorrow or pick up a. I don't know what my plan is yet. That'll put me at 3,300 miles for the week. And then still be a day left, so I'll get a head start or start my reset. I don't know. This way without breaking my MacBook. Ooh, it's cold. I haven't, I haven't been able to work out three or four days. It's been snowing or raining every day, so it's a little cold here in Texas, but at least I can work out a little bit. have a bunch of heavy weights I just I do a lot of high reps a lot of reps and low weight just kind of stay fit try and get cut up more than build muscle so I work out chest a little bit and then I got a jump rope in between, that plane's going fast. In between sets with my doing some benches, I'll bust out the jump rope and get some cardio in. All right, now we're done working out. Put everything back. Hi, baby. What you doing? So let's put our bench back. Careful not to smash my MacBook. I don't know how many watts. This blender pulls. I'll go ahead and start my truck so I'm not draining my battery. Take my shoes off. I always keep my shoes. I don't know if you can see it down there. I try to make sure my shoes don't ever come back into my living area. So I'll put my ladder back. I absolutely love this blender. Somebody got this blender for me for Christmas. And I love the John thing, man. Blender's awesome. So we'll get a protein. I'm trying to gain weight. I gained about nine pounds in the last month. A month and a half, two months. And I'm sure this is a big part of it. So two scoops and some milk. And a protein shake for the night. And we'll put the top on. And then you flip it over. I love this little thing. It's called a silver bullet, I think. Maybe not silver bullet. That's quartz light. <laughs> a neutral bullet, not a I call it a silver bullet. All right. And you just turn it. Bailey's not too fond of it. Flip it out. And most of us truckers, I assume most of us do this. I, we take one of these little like Walmart bags and we put it on the arm of our driver's seat or passenger seat. My passenger seat doesn't have uh, doesn't have an armrest. And that's kind of like our trash bag. I've been doing that since I since I've been trucking. Clean the blender I just used from not having much old milk in there. Right, so that's nice and clean, easy cleanup. A little TV dinner tray. So I'm about to make my dinner. I'm about to sit sit back and eat and watch some TV, watch some forensic files. I like forensic files. I'm kind of addicted to it. So I'll make my food and this protein shake will be waiting for me. All right. And then to keep the, the healthiness going, I 
to power up my microwave here and make one of the most common meals I make. I'm not eating eggs, I'm cooking up eggs. I'm usually making some rice, some rice and meat. So the first thing I do, heat up some rice, heat it up for 90 seconds. And it's some fresh rice. Basically what I usually make when I make this is I do the rice, some, a vegetable, you know, with corn or green beans and a meat. I got a few different meats here. I might have to, oh, I got lasagna too. I might have a cheese. Yeah, I am out of cheese, so no cheese on it. I got, I got all this lasagna too. And then I'll grab one of these gallon bags here. Cause I got some meatballs. I want some meatballs with it tonight. I want to put the meatballs in one of these Ziploc bags. So I got a few different meats here. I got, I got some chicken nuggets. I got a couple bags of this grilled chicken fajitas. And I got some grilled steak. Looks like some chicken nuggets fell in the freezer. They're still good though. Put those in the bag. All right, put those in the Ziploc. Mama sent me home. Send me out on the road with a bunch of lasagnas. I got two thrown in the fridge. And I got three more. She actually vacuum seals them for me. So I got like five lasagnas left. Still got, still have an Italian sauce. I cook. But I, I'm gonna make these meatballs. This filet mignon I haven't cooked yet. I don't know when I'm gonna eat that. Actually, I'm gonna put my protein shake in the freezer while I make this. Just to, is it gonna leak? Put the freezer while I make this so it stays nice and cold. Take a few out to cook. Keep them in my freezer so I got a bunch of meat in my freezer. Now the rice is ready. Dice this rice up. And then on my rice, I like to put soy sauce. A bunch of corn. I used to give my dog corn, but she uh she doesn't chew it, so all she does is poop it out, so I don't give it to her no more. Oh, and then while I'm sitting here. So when I fire up my satellite, I gotta let my satellite kind of fire up and kick on. Takes it a minute for it to line up and connect to the satellite. So let me plug that in. Here's my remotes. I'm, I'll put on some forensic files, watch some forensic files. I might be on my Xbox, so let me put on my TV. Yeah, it's on my Xbox. Let me put it on. Oh. And it should say it's connecting. Yep. A few more seconds. It's actually gonna be a few more minutes. And there's like receiver self check. And it takes about five minutes for it to fire up. Look at my drunk dog passing out with her bone. Should put some peanut butter on her bone for her. Give her something to munch on. While I'm eating here. I wanted to get my Mac out too. Do a couple things. <laughs> you gonna chew it while you're laying down? You're a weirdo. So I got all my meatballs. All nice and hot. I got my candle burning there. Keep the truck smelling good. Make sure I don't catch my cab curtain on fire. So sometimes I do the steak. Sometimes I do the chicken. All right, the DirecTV's initializing now. So we got our food ready to go. 